Hey everybody, it's Jim, and welcome back to another lesson of Introduction to Corn Shell. Last time we went over the at sign, parenthesis, pattern matching, which meant that you have to have one of the required patents within the parenthesis. And here are some examples. You could have a string, and the required patent could be at the end. You could have a string, the required patent could be in the middle, and then another string could be at the end, and you could have a string, and the required patent could be at the end, and in this case it would be string, and it would have to end with patent 1, patent 2, or patent 3. Now, I wanted to go over something just a little different. The asterisk parenthesis patent matching. It matches zero or more of whatever is inside of the parenthesis. So this right here will match nothing because anything in the parentheses is optional or it will pa match patent one, patent two, or patent three or any combination of them. You could have patent one ten times. You could have patent one, patent three, patent two, patent three, patent one. You could have patent two five times. All that is perfectly allowable. So the example I'm going to show you is right here. This test will be true if name contains well, it has to start with capital T. We know that for sure. That capital T is required. And then all of this right here is optional. It can end with this, or this, or this, or any combination of the three. Therefore, as I said, the T is required, and any of this is optional. So it will match capital T all by itself. It will match Tom, Thomas, and Tommy. But it will also match T-O-M-O-M-M-Y, T-O-M-M-Y-H-O-M-A-S, and however you would pronounce this. OK, so I wanted to show you one more example using the asterisk patent matching. We're going to ask someone to enter in an answer. We're going to read the value into answer. And then we're going to test answer for the following condition. If the value within answer matches this, then the test is true. Let's break this down. OK, well, this is definitely required. And this, once again, when something's in a square bracket, it means that you have to have one of whatever is inside of it. So this means you have a choice between a capital A or a lowercase a, as long as, therefore, as long as answer starts with a capital A or a lowercase a, that's good. Then optionally, because the asterisk means zero or more, you have to have whatever is within the parenthesis. Well, what's in the parenthesis? The square bracket, lowercase a dash lowercase z square bracket. This, once again, is a choice right here. And that means any character between lowercase a and lowercase z. And when you have it that nestles, nestled inside of the asterisk parenthesis parenthesis, once again, that means zero or more of them. So therefore, you want zero or more of letters A through Z, lowercase. Therefore, this test right here tests to see if an answer starts with an uppercase A or lowercase A, and then is followed by nothing, because once again, the asterisk means optional, or anything that is a lowercase a through lowercase z. So it will find words, basically. Well, may not be a word, but it will find anything that starts with an uppercase a or a lowercase a and then has characters after it. 
letters of the alphabet, lowercase. The one thing it won't match is a word like don't, because don't has a single quote in it, an apostrophe.